This broadcast of ICC Athletics is being brought to you by Renaissance Bank, Little Caesars, Davis Ford, The Sonic of Fulton, Tupelo Coca-Cola Bottling Works, the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, First American National Bank, the ICC BSU, your Itawama County Farm Bureau agent, Joey Cox, Kegel Eye Center, the ICC Foundation, the Bank of Oklahoma, and the ICC Alumni Association. You could say it's about the clubs. You could say it's about the ball. You could even say it's about the course or the weather. But what it really comes down to is consistency and hard work. Over and over and over again. At Renaissance, we understand consistency. We understand hard work. Most importantly, we understand you. Renaissance Bank. Understanding you. With the Little Caesars mobile app, you can customize an extra most bestest pizza with the most cheese, and now with the most of any toppings for the nation's best price. It's the crowning pizza achievement. And it's true what they say. It's lonely at the top. Unless you have an extra most bestest pizza. Then it's a party at the top! Little Caesars extra most bestest pizzas. The world's easiest way to outrageous amounts of toppings, starting at six bucks. Pizza, pizza. Hey guys, this is Madison. I'm a freshman at Itawama Community College and I just wanted to remind you there's still time to register for classes and join me as part of the ICC family. Registration is open January 7th through the 15th for the upcoming spring semester. Visit apply.iccms.edu for more information or you can stop by one of our three locations in Fulton, Tupelo, and Belden. Itawama Community College, the best start here. Davis Ford in Fulton is your Ford dealer for new cars, trucks, and SUVs and has a wide inventory of certified pre-owned vehicles. Find your next dream car or truck from our Ford showroom or go online to davisfordsales.com and search our new and used inventory to see what is on our lot. So stop by and test drive the all-new fuel-efficient Ford Focus or Ford Fusion or the new Ford Explorer or F-150. Go further with Davis Ford, 904 West Main Street in Fulton or online davisfordsales.com. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and Roll Tribe as we welcome in 2019 on Let's Go ICCTV.com and ESPN 95.1 The Fan with a Saturday double feature matinee as the Lady Indians and the Indians are set to face Gadsden State here at the Davis Event Center. Hi, everyone. I'm Adam Gore, and welcome to the Davis Ford pregame show as we start the countdown to that first American National Bank opening tip between your 7-2 and two ICC Lady Indians and the 8-6 and six Lady, Lady Cardinals of Gadsden State. Let's go inside the numbers presented by the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. For more information, visit nmsmo.com. That's nmsmo.com. Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, our specialty is you. The last time these two teams met was on November the 13th at Gadsden State when the Lady, excuse me, the Lady Cardinals picked up a 79-66 win on homecoming. It was a less than stellar performance by the Lady Indians and, in my opinion, the officials. But Morgan Frazier led the Lady Cardinals with 19 points while Jalexis Russell added 18 points. And Amara Hightower came off the bench to chip in 10 in the win. For the Lady Indians, they were led in scoring by Shania Buford, who heated up, who heated up late to score a game-high 31 points with Kaylin Wilson and Zaria Jenkins adding 10 points each in the loss. Lady Cardinals dominated the boards and out-rebounded the Lady Indians 40-28, to including a 14-4 advantage on the offensive side of the floor. Points off the bench proved to loom large for Gaston State as well. They got 31 points off the bench while ICC can only am manage 11 bench points on the evening. Now, when we come back to the Davis Ford pregame show, we'll take a look at today's Coca-Cola starting lineups. You're tuned in to the ICC Sports Network on letsgoicctv.com and ESPN 95.1 The Fan. Back with more right after this. 
Davis Ford in Fulton is your Ford dealer for new cars, trucks, and SUVs and has a wide inventory of certified pre-owned vehicles. Find your next dream car or truck from our Ford showroom or go online to davisfordsales.com and search our new and used inventory to see what is on our lot. So stop by and test drive the all-new fuel-efficient Ford Focus or Ford Fusion or the new Ford Explorer or F-150. Go further with Davis Ford, 904 West Main Street in Fulton or online davisfordsales.com. The newly formed Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi wants to make sure you are receiving the best orthopedic care possible. Our staff of seven experienced board-certified surgeons specialize in a specific area of the body and can treat you with the newest and latest technology available to fast-track your road to recovery. Call us for same-day appointments at 662-377-BONE and come see us at Gloucester Creek Village in Tupelo. At the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, our specialty is you. First American National Bank is a local bank. Our 10 locations are right here in Northeast Mississippi. Banking decisions are made locally by people who live here. It's been that way for more than 50 years. Our involvement in the community is important to us. That's where our roots are. Technology, it changes daily, but our community is what keeps us together. If you like high tech banking, we've got that too. Follow the flag to First American National Bank from Iuka to Tupelo. My burger goes best with mustard. And ketchup and mustard. Grass-fed beef. No, corn fed. On the grill. Now, nah, flat top. Iceberg lettuce. Nah, arugula. Jalapeno. No way. Avocado, dude. Medium rare. Gotta be all done. Rio. Sesame seeds. American cheese. Cheddar. Can I have a turkey burger? What? Turkeys are for Thanksgiving, man. I like my burger with the Coke. I'll agree to that. Strictly with the Coke. Only with the Coke. Coke and a burger. Come on. All right. That's where you get the flavor. And welcome back to the Davis Ford pregame show. We're less than two minutes away from the first American National Bank opening tip between your ICC Lady Indians and the Lady Cardinals of Gadsden State. Let's take a look at today's Coca-Cola starting lineups presented by the Tupelo Coca-Cola Bottling Works. Buddy Long and company proud to sponsor ICC Athletics. And here is your starting five for Gadsden State. Wearing number one, Kaylin Hines. She is a 5'5 sophomore guard out of Warrior, Alabama. Number five, Jalexis Russell. She's a 5'10 freshman guard slash forward. She's out of Florence, Alabama. Number 20, Morgan Frazier, a 5'7 freshman guard out of Sylvian, Alabama. Number 24, Delia Crawford, a 5'9 freshman guard slash forward from Montgomery, Alabama. And number 45, Kenesha Payne, a 6'1 freshman forward slash center out of Huntsville, Alabama. And now for today's Coca-Cola starting lineup for your Lady Indians, ICC and Coke. Now that's a winning combination. And Coach Nancy Gray hopes she's got that same winning combo put together in her starting five today. And this is your starting five for the Lady Indians. Number five, Kaylin Wilson, a 5'8 sophomore guard out of Columbus. Number 10, Tanisha Miller, a 6'1 redshirt sophomore forward out of Greenville. Number 11, Tabria Gandhi, a 5'3 freshman start, excuse me, freshman point guard out of Starville. Number 14, Shania Buford, a 5'9 sophomore guard out of Avable. And number 15, Zaria Jenkins, a six-foot sophomore guard out of Columbus. Let's go to the floor for today's National Anthem.
Now, of course, this is not a this is a non-division game for the Lady Indians, but let's go ahead and take a look at the North Division standings being brought to you by Little Caesars in Fulton. The quickest pizza in Itawamba County just got quicker thanks to the Little Caesars app. Just download the app, punch in the necessary information to set up your profile, and you're ready to go. Order and pay from your phone. That's the Little Caesars located on South Adams Street here in Fulton. ICC Northeast and East Mississippi all sit at the top of the division at 1-0. Holmes is yet to play a division game while Oklahoma, Northwest, Delta are each 0-1 inside conference play. We come back from the Davis Ford pregame show. We'll have that first American National Bank opening tip between your ICC Lady Indians and the Lady Cardinals of Gadsden State here on Let's Go ICC TV.com and ESPN 95.1 The Fan, your new home for ICC athletics. My burger goes best with mustard. Ketchup and mustard. Grass-fed beef. No, corn-fed. On the grill. Now, nah, flat top. Iceberg lettuce. Nah, arugula. Jalapeno. No way. Avocado, dude. Medium rare. Gotta be all done. Rio. Sesame seeds. American cheese. Cheddar. Can I have a turkey burger? What? Turkeys are for Thanksgiving, man. I like my burger with the Coke. I'll agree to that. Strictly with the Coke. Only with the Coke. Coke and a burger. Come on. All right. That's where you get the flavor. This broadcast of ICC Athletics is being brought to you by Renaissance Bank, Little Caesars, Davis Ford, The Sonic of Fulton, Tupelo Coca-Cola Bottling Works, The Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, First American National Bank, The ICC BSU, Your Itawama County Farm Bureau Agent, Joey Cox, Kegel Eye Center, The ICC Foundation, The Bank of Oklahoma, and The ICC Alumni Association. Student involvement is a top priority here at Itawamba Community College. If you want to be involved with student government, then the Student Government Association is the place for you. If you have a stellar GPA, then Phi Theta Kappa is for you. If you're interested in the diverse culture of our campus population, then the Diversity Club is for you. If you're interested in leadership and service, then Indian Delegation is for you. If you're majoring in computer programming or computer networking, then CPNA, the Computer Programming Networking Association, is for you. If you're interested in good conversations and free lunch on Thursdays, then the Wesley Foundation is for you. Our health science programs also have specific organizations for those majors. Student activities are excited to bring you new opportunities here at the ICC Tupelo campus. Whatever your passion may be, we have a place for you. This video is brought to you by Phi Theta Kappa Beta Tau Sigma Tupelo campus. Davis Ford in Fulton is your Ford dealer for new cars, trucks, and SUVs and has a wide inventory of certified pre-owned vehicles. Find your next dream car or truck from our Ford showroom or go online to davisfordsales.com and search our new and used inventory to see what is on our lot. So stop by and test drive the all-new fuel-efficient Ford Focus or Ford Fusion or the new Ford Explorer or F-150. Go further with Davis Ford, 904 West Main Street in Fulton or online davisfordsales.com. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. If you're in the listening area here, listening on FM 95.1 ESPN, your new home for ICC Athletics, ESPN 95.1 The Fan. Hey, you've got plenty of time to make it out to the uh, Davis Event Center. It's free admission today. So if you and your family are out and about looking for something to do, uh, you've got a few hours. You can come out here today and enjoy some basketball on the house here at ICC. The First American National Bank opening tip is going to be controlled by Gadsden State. Gaston moving right to left on your radio dial, drives inside, kiss off the glass is good. That was number one, Kaylin Hines with the basket. So quickly, Gaston able to put points on the board. They lead it two to nothing here in the early going. ICC with their first possession of 2019. Driving around the perimeter, now swing it out wide to the left guard. That's gonna be Shania Buford who resets the offense through Gandy. Gandy wants to drive inside. Stops, turn around, jumper too hard, and the rebound is going to be pulled down by Gadsden State, and we're going to have a reach-in foul. This foul is going to be whistled on Kaylin Wilson, her first foul, team first foul against ICC. Well, that's one thing we saw the last time that ICC and Gadsden played was that ICC got dominated on the boards, and Gadsden already showing pretty dominant early that they want to go here. Two to nothing is your score. 9.15 to go here in the first quarter of play. Gaston in their road black. ICC in their home grays. Looking to go for inside the paint. ICC tough man-to-man -to -man defense that's known for Nancy Gray basketball. 
Eight seconds on the shot clock. They feed it inside. Somehow got it away. Did not hit the rim. Going to have to put it back. Shot blocked. Ball is loose on the floor, and ICC is going to get it in transition. Good defense that time on the part of Tanisha Miller. So ICC with the basketball, trailing two to nothing. Looking to go inside, turn around, jumper, rolling around, and good. That was Zaria Jenkins. Zaria Jenkins, excuse me. Zaria Jenkins with the basket. He evens things up now. Two to two. To two. Three-point basket, rattles in and out, halfway down, no good, but nobody there on the backside to block out for ICC as that was Crawford with the basket. She now has two points, and Gadsden answers quickly. Four to two is the score, 8-18 to play here in the first quarter. ICC with the basketball. Oh, nice step back move, three-pointer on its way, good. Let's look at that, just shook off the defender that time as that was Gandy who drilled the three to give ICC the one point edge. And there's gonna be a foul was what I believe. Oh wow, they're gonna call a foul on Chabria Gandy. They thought it was a traveling call. The referee took a little while to figure out what he wanted to call that time. So now that's two fouls on ICC to no fouls being called so far on Gadsden. Substitution coming into the game here for ICC. Actually a pair of them. Number 20, Shamaya Williams will check into the contest along with number 21, Keely Wilson. These substitutions being brought to you by Renaissance Bank. Renaissance Bank, understanding you. RenaissanceBank.com. Large lead of the night for ICC is at one. Look for that pick and roll. Nothing there as it goes out of bounds. And the ball back to the Lady Indians. 7.42 to play here. ICC with a 5-4 to four advantage in this non-division game against Gadsden State. We invite you to stay tuned. The men's game will be following this one as well. And there's a little makeup call on the other end of the floor. Too bad it's not the NBA as the continuation got the basket to go but was not good as they're going to call that hand check there. So if they're going to call that this way all game, then it is going to be a long afternoon of basketball. So ICC with it now. Five to four is your score. Picks up a dribble in the corner. They go to Buford. Buford wanting to drive baseline. Her shot is up. A whole lot of contact. No foul called. Out of bounds and the ball will stay on the baseline to ICC. Buford, as we talked about, had 31 points the last time she faced Gasson and count the basket. Jenkins with the basket and a chance at a three-point play the old-fashioned way here. Nicely done on the inbounds play. Zaria with four points on the afternoon. Missed that free throw and ICC's lead now to three, the largest of the afternoon. Ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by ICC. 7-4 is your score. 7-10 is the score. We do want to say a special hello to those that might be tuning in in support of Gadsden State this afternoon. If you hear me start to talk a little bit softer, I apologize as uh, a rare Saturday afternoon game here at the Davis Event Center. Not a whole lot of people this afternoon, so uh, I feel like you can hear me talking in the gymnasium sometimes. Inside they go. Turnaround layup is good. That's Payne with the basket. Her first basket of the afternoon makes it a one-point contest now. 7-6 is your score, 6.50 to go here in the first quarter of play. ICC looking to go inside, and we're going to have another hand check foul, and that one's going to be whistled on number one, Kaylin Hines. And that is going to be her second foul, team third foul, and we'll have a substitution coming in here for Gadsden State. This will be number three, Moore, checking into the contest for the Lady Cardinals. So ICC ball on the sideline. Lady Indians looking to throw it in. Got it with about a three and a half count. And now ICC is going to reset the offense. 25 seconds on the shot clock. That's not an issue. Wild shot put up. No good. Moore with the loose ball is going to push it up the floor. Tries to go in. And there's a block shot. Second block shot of the game for Miller. Inside they go. A lot of contact. No foul called. And then a foul on the putback. As wow, that was a tackle at the five that time as that foul is going to be whistled on Shamaya Williams, her first foul, team third foul, each team with three fouls. And this will send Payne to the free throw line for Gadsden. 
First free throw on its way, and the iron on kind. Neither team has made a free throw yet. They both only have attempted one. Substitution coming into the game here for ICC. This is number four, Whitney Watkins. Watkins checking into the contest. She's a freshman out of Decatur, Alabama. She went to Austin High School. That substitution being brought to you by the ICC Baptist Student Union. Second free throw on its way is good for Payne. She now has three points. And we've got a tied contest, 7-7. Seven to seven. ICC and Gadsden State. This is the first game of the 2019 half of the season for ICC. Pretty sure it's the same for Gadsden State. Of course, ICC's got another game Tuesday. Is there some tough defense out of Gadsden State? Forcing them to get the ball up now. ICC with eight seconds on the shot clock. Buford eyes, tries, can't buy the three. The offensive rebound, though, is ripped down by Tanisha Miller. Baseline jumper off the mark, no good, and that's got to be an undercut. Oh, no. They're going to call that one on Whitney Watkins. Well, Watkins went straight up for the rebound that time, and the player from Gadsden State actually backed into her. And for those that kind of just give you an idea of how you should call that foul, you envision a player in a tube. That player has a right to that area on the basketball floor. Instead, the player from Gadsden came in and took her feet out from under her, so a break there for Gadsden State in that sense with the foul called on Watkins. 7-7 seven seven is your score, 5.41 to go here. ICC and Gadsden State in the first of two games this afternoon here on Let's Go ICCTV.com as well as ESPN 95 won the fan. This is Crawford with the basketball. She drives inside, scoop shot is good for her fourth point of the game and now Gadsden retakes the lead. Nine to two, matching their large lead of the afternoon at two. So Lady Indians with the basketball, step back, thought about the three, good defense to take it away. Now they want to go inside. This is Jenkins, kicks it out, three-pointer well off the mark, an air ball grabbed by Gadsden State. Now Gadsden's wanting to get out and run. Up the floor, they go in a hurry, but great defensive effort that time on the part of Shania Buford to allow the defense to get back and reset. Nine to seven is your score, 5.03 to play here in the first quarter of play. Gaston with the lead by two and the basketball on the baseline. Gaston looking to go in the drive. Good help defense that time by the Lady Indians, forcing them back out. This is number 20, Frazier, with the three-pointer on its way. No good, and the rebound to ICC. Now the Lady Indians wanting to push on the other end. Looking to go coast to coast, running layup. No good. Rebound slapped around and into the hands of Tanisha Miller. And now they find Buford. Eyes, tries, buys the three-point basket. Shania Buford drills her first three of 2019. And if you're an ICC fan, you hope to see a whole lot more of those. Ball is slapped into the backcourt. Gaston keeps possession. 10-9 to nine is your score. Buford all over the place trying to get it after the loose ball. And then ICC slaps it back one more time. And it's going to go out of bounds. Great hustle that time by the Lady Indians defense to force the turnover. That was on the shoulders of number 14, Shania Buford, and number 21, Keeley Wilson. Substitution coming to the game here for ICC. This is going to be number 30, Quay McClatchy into the contest. Also looks like number 23, Morgan Blaylock, has checked in as well. And coming in at the next opportunity will be Langham for Gadsden State. This is Buford with the basketball. Picks up a dribble. Now goes inside to McClatchy, who gives it back to Buford. Buford steps back, wants another three. Got it. Back-to-back <laughs> -back jacks now for the sophomore out of Lafayette High School. She's got 13 points, and it's the largest lead of the night here for the Lady Indians at four. So Gaston with the basketball. 13-9. Step back long two is off the mark. No good. Miller with the easy rebound. And now here comes Buford. Buford in the open floor. Drops it back inside to Miller. No, couldn't get the basket to go, but what a great pass. That time by Buford drew the defense, and Miller will go to the line to shoot two. That foul is whistled on Simpson. That is going to be her first foul, team fourth foul. Each team with four fouls. As that free throw off the mark, no good. ICC still looking for, still looking for their first free throw of the game. Correction, number 24, Crawford was called with the foul. Oh, 
as we got a little confusion on the rosters. Uh, apparently some names not matching up with the number. We're all good. As the second free throw is good for Miller. And ICC now leads by five. Substitution into the game during that free throw opportunity was number 12, Sarah Berryman for ICC. Loose ball on the floor, and ICC comes away with it. And there's going to be an incidental tripping foul. Whistled on number three that time, Moore. And that will put ICC into the bonus situation here. If you're ICC, you're one of three from the charity stripe this afternoon. You really want to start taking advantage of these. As this will be Keeley Wilson at the line here for ICC. As I said, don't really want to talk too loud while they're shooting free throws. I feel like they can pretty much hear me. As that free throw is off the mark, no good. Kind of almost as if you're shooting in an empty gym right now if you're shooting free throws. Not really a whole lot of noise. Maybe I need to talk a little bit just to give them a little bit of noise. So the first free throw, no good. Looking for the second here is Wilson. It's on its way, and the iron oh so kind for Wilson as she gets her first points of the game, and ICC now pushes the lead out to six. 15 to nine with 310. Great job breaking the press that time by Gadsden State, working around for a long two-pointer on its way. Good. That's Crawford. Crawford's had the hot hand so far for the Lady Cardinals as she's got six of the 11 points this afternoon, and ICC leads it 15 to 11 here in the first quarter of play. This is Wilson running the point guard position. Dribbles over to the left wing, now gives it up to McClatchy up top. ICC, boy, that's a good trap up top. Three-pointers off the mark, no good. And the rebound being fought for underneath, and they're going to say it's going to belong to Gadsden State on the loose ball. Berryman was trying to battle with Langham that time. Berryman gives up a little bit of height and a lot of size to Langham on the paint, just could not be able to get to it. 2.38 to go here in a long first quarter of play. As the ball went out to the hallway, and now I think we're ready to play. Once again, if you're in the area listening on 95-1 ESPN, the fan, as there's the ball taken away, layup is good. Watkins just stepped in front of that one and picked it off that time and got the layup to fall. And ICC's lead back to six. Deep NBA range threes off the mark. No good. Rebound into the hands of Keeley Wilson. Wilson crosses over the defender. Didn't have numbers and backs it back out. Miller begging for the basketball. Just could not get it to her in time. Two minutes. Two minutes of play here in the first quarter. Trying to feed it inside to Miller. As the player from Gadsden caught the basketball and fell down with it. Traveling is going to be the call. So to go back to the Lady Indians on the baseline. Substitution coming into the game here. This is going to be Brownlee along with Buford checking into the contest here for ICC. Miller and Berryman will check out. These substitutions being brought to you by Davis Ford. McClatchy with the basketball. It's going to lock it inside, and that's going to be a jump ball. Great defense on the part of Morgan Blaylock that time. That's the reason why you're taught not to put that basketball out there. Put those elbows up and guard the basketball as Blaylock went in, tied the ball up, but the possession arrow is in favor of ICC. As we said, even two minutes to go here, 17 to 11. ICC with the lead here in the first quarter over Gadsden State. This is Wilson looking to go on the drive. Great defense to take it away. And then ICC is going to turn it over. Good defense on the part of Gadsden State coming out hustling and forcing the turnover. The ball will go back to the Lady Cardinals now as ICC leads it by six. That's their largest lead of the contest, 17 to 11. 145 to play here in the first quarter of play. This is Moore with the basketball now, swings it out. That's going to be Russell with it. Russell over on the far side of the floor. Looking to go on the drive and a foul on the drive. We'll see if it's on the floor or if it's on the shot. They're going to say two shots coming up as that one's going to be whistled on Quay McClatchy. Actually would have been free throws either way as it was the fifth foul caught on ICC. So this will send number 24 to the free throw line. And this is going to be Crawford. Crawford has had the hot hand here in the first quarter of play. She has six points. Awaits the first free throw. Back iron bouncing no good. Well, 
Santa Claus didn't make a whole lot of free throw or bring a whole lot of free throw shooting abilities to either one of these teams as they are ice cold from the charity stripe. ICC has made two. They've attempted two, three, four, five. Gadsden has attempted now four, and they've made one. Offensive rebound, though, ripped down that time by Langham. Spot up three-pointer, no good. Offensive rebound, count the basket. Jesse Ratzlin, who just checked into the con contest, did a great job of blocking out on the backside, grabbed the rebound quickly, had the wherewithal to put it back up and draw the foul, and that foul's going to be whistled on Keeley Wilson. And it'll be a substitution. Wilson out and Berryman in for ICC. These substitutions, as we mentioned, being brought to you by Davis Ford. Looking for a new or used automobile? Come by and see all the fine folks just down the road from us here at the Davis Event Center at Davis Ford in Fulton. So Ralston makes the free throw. And Gaston makes it a three-point contest. Whoa, Gaston. Tough, tough call against the Lady Cardinals that time as Tiana Moore picked the pocket of Berryman and was halfway to the basket before the whistle blew. And so now this will send ICC back to the free throw line. That's what we said. And the referees kind of set the tone early when they call some quick hand check fouls uh, that it's going to be a very touchy ball game. And the referees have called it both ways so far, but that's just going to make for a long afternoon. Berryman's first free throw is good. Sarah Berryman. She is a freshman out of Belmont. Gets the first one, waits the second free throw on its way, and got them both. So Berryman with two points in the contest. ICC leading 19 to 14 with 1.15 to play here in the first quarter. Gadsden State with the basketball, picks up the dribble, and it's going to be a kick ball out of bounds. It'll allow the defense to reset for ICC. So it'll be more to inbounds here for Gadsden State. Man-to-man -man defense out of the Lady Indians. Into the corner they go with it. Back quickly to Moore. Moore up top to Hightower, working with 15 seconds. Hightower wants to go on the drive, and as we said, that foul was on Sarah Berryman. It's going to be a long afternoon. As that was the combined, I believe, 13th or 14th foul called here in the first quarter alone. So winning the first free throw is up in and good. 13th. Winning the second free throw in, gets them both. Does Hightower. Hightower with two points. Big makes on the part of Hightower, makes it a three-point contest. Another substitution coming into the game here for ICC. That is going to be Tanisha Miller checking back into the contest. Gaston wanting to come out and press up the floor. Miller layup is good. Good job by ICC being patient against the press, was able to throw over the top of it and break the press that time. They lead it now 21 to 16 inside a minute to play. Then there on the other end, Gaston returns serve. Easy break of the press on their side as that was Ralston. She's got five points off the bench, and that was a big one there. Makes it a three-point game. Berryman with the basketball. Skip pass to Buford. Buford quickly inside. Back to Buford. Buford lost the handle. Miller finds it, puts it up short. No good. Offensive rebound. Count it! That could be an early nominee for our Renaissance Bank What a Play Wednesday. As Let's take a look at that one one more time. As she missed the first shot, got it up in the air, was hit, got the friendly roll, and count the basket. Can't complete the three-point play the old-fashioned way. Could Miller. As ICC leads it now 23-18, coming up on 10 seconds to play here in the first quarter. Looks like Gass is going to try to hold for the last shot. Step back, shot was partially blocked. Miller gets it. Buford, and she traveled. Good call by the official that time. She thought about throwing that one from beyond half court. A player from Gadsden flashed in front of her and caused her to pick up her dribble and called it a carry. Almost hit that Heisman pose. But instead, it's going to turn into a turnover. So it's got to be a catch and shoot here for Gadsden with .5 seconds. And nope. 
as that's going to do it for your first quarter of play. 23-18, to 18, ICC leads it after one. We're going to take a break and hear a few words from our sponsors and be back with more right after this on ESPN 95.1 The Fan and Let's Go ICCTV.com. This broadcast of ICC Athletics is being brought to you by Renaissance Bank, Little Caesars, Davis Ford, the Sonic of Fulton, Tupelo Coca-Cola Bottling Works, the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, First American National Bank, the ICC BSU, your Itawama County Farm Bureau agent, Joey Cox, Cagle Eye Center, the ICC Foundation, the Bank of Oklahoma, and the ICC Alumni Association. Hey guys, this is Madison. I'm a freshman at Itawama Community College and I just wanted to remind you there's still time to register for classes and join me as part of the ICC family. Registration is open January 7th through the 15th for the upcoming spring semester. Visit apply.iccms.edu for more information or you can stop by one of our three locations in Fulton, Tupelo, and Belden. Itawama Community College, the best start here. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we get set for the second quarter of play. The ICC leading 23-18 to after six points from Shania Buford, five from Tanisha Miller in the first quarter. It was six points from Crawford and five from Ralston for Gaston to lead each team in scoring. So Gaston will have the basketball to start the second quarter of play. Inside they go, shot is up and good for number 25. That's going to be Langham, and that's going to be her first points of the contest. Good set play directed towards Langham that time. And then a turnover by ICC. A three-pointer could tie it here for Gadsden. Wow, there was a travel as she took three steps before putting the ball on the ground, then drove inside and drew the foul. And so a... A big time break there for Gaston after taking three steps before putting the ball on the floor to dribble towards the basket. Free throw, a guilty conscious free throw, no good. But there is the rebound though. They missed the free throw, but Gaston was able to get the offensive rebound. Trying to go inside and Tanisha Miller takes it away. Now Buford wanting to push in the open floor. Buford drops it up. Let's traffic clear. The layup rolls in and good. That's number five, Kaitlyn Wilson with her first points of the contest. And ICC pushes the lead back to three. Gaston not going quietly into the afternoon here. They trailed as much as six as that time a good play by Blaylock to put on the brakes in front of the player. As Wilson, who just made the basket, picks up the foul. And that is going to be her second foul. Substitution into the game here is going to be Keeley Wilson. No relations between Kaylin and Keeley that I know of. And so it's a three-point contest. 25-22, ICC with the lead over Gadsden. Gadsden in their road black, working right to left on your radio dial. ICC in their home grays, working left to right. And the ball is going to be out of bounds. And they're going to say last touch by ICC. So Gadsden basketball on the baseline, 15 seconds on the shot clock, 8.44 to go until halftime. Remind you to stay tuned at halftime. We'll have an interview we had with an ICC baseball signing during or just before the Christmas break, I should say, as the ball is thrown in. And Gadsden woo, barely able to keep possession that time. Now going to reset the offense. 10 seconds on the shot clock. This is Moore going on the drive. Had her shot blocked. And it's out of bounds back to ICC. Tanisha Miller has at least three block shots here in the first half so far for ICC. 25-22, Lady Indians with the lead. Gaston in a press. It has worked at times to force some turnovers, but this time ICC no problem breaking the press. Buford picked up the dribble, now skip pass over to the sideline. Crossover, three-pointer, no, off the mark, no good. Offensive rebound though to Miller, her shot was blocked. Fighting to get it back, does so, tries to behind the back pass, a little too fancy that time. But the ball was last touched out of bounds by Gadsden State. Coach uh, Gray not happy with that pass selection from Tanisha Miller. Tanisha had her best game that she had in La at Lawson State. 18 points, 18 rebounds. That was before the Christmas break. Would love to see Tanisha kind of find that 
toughness and that wild streak in her each night out. Turnover by Gandy. Now here comes Gatson on the other end. Layup is up in and good. That's Hightower. She's got four. So, so far it's been all Gadsden State to start the second quarter. Buford wants to three, it's off the mark, no good. Rebound loose on the floor, ICC gets it, shot won't fall, but that will send Keeley Wilson to the free throw line. Got her on the shot, one of those you would love to see dropped if you were an ICC fan, just could not do so. Substitution will be Dutton getting set to come into the contest as that foul whistle on number 25. Langholm, and that's her first. So this will be Wilson at the free throw line. Couple of dribbles, hangs on to it for a while, fires and sinks it. Well, at the end of the day, that's all that matters as long as it goes through. I've got that as her second point of the contest, 26-24. Now the score. As Wilson gets it, wipes off her shoes, two dribbles, a spin. Hangs on, and that's going to be a lane violation, but she made it anyway. So no need, no need for the redo there as Wilson pretty much made that shot with the player in her face after the player jumped into the lane. As the ball thrown up the floor, Hightower nearly lost it, was able to get it back. Baseline jumper on its way, no good. Rebound is to Buford. Buford seeing a trap. Good job by Wilson to come back and help her out as Wilson trying to bring it into the front court. Being hawked defensively by Blaylock. Now works it over to Buford. Buford faked the three, goes inside, and they're gonna say no, it was on the floor. Well, a good pass that time by Shania Buford. She faked the three. Everybody was bare, everybody bit on it. Found Jenkins on the baseline, but unfortunately the foul was before the shot, or it would have been a chance at a three-point play the old-fashioned way. So ICC basketball. Nobody really moving for ICC on the inbounds, and finally do. They get it inside to Jenkins, who's going to set it back up. This is going to be Gandy to reset the offense. 22 seconds on the shot clock, 7-10 to play here until halftime. 27-24, ICC with the lead here over Gadsden State. Gandy looking to go inside, nothing there. Good extra pass, high-low offensive set, and the layup is good. As Jenkins gets her six points after an extra friendly roll that time. Makes it a five-point contest, 29-24. ICC with the lead, Gaston State with the basketball. This is going to be Moore with it. Trying to go on the drive, drives to the middle of the paint. Wild shot put up, no good, and there's a hard rebound. And Tanisha Miller, who has an ankle that's heavily wrapped, went up and grabbed the rebound, fell to the floor, and the turnover will give the ball back to Gaston. Looks like Dutton has checked into the contest here for Gadsden State. That substitution being brought to you by the ICC Baptist Student Union. When school's back in section, the ICC Baptist Student Union, they meet Monday nights at 7.07. Wednesdays at lunch, all they ask is you bring $2 and a friend. Don't forget that $2 for your friend as well, as there's a turnover by ICC and a foul by Gandy. Well, this is everything you would imagine after having about a week off of, or excuse me, about a month away from basketball, or at least competitive basketball. This has been sloppy. So that foul is going to be whistled on Gandy, her second foul, team third foul. And this will bring Shamaya Williams back into the contest. 29-24 is your score. Gaston will have the basketball. 6.20 to play here in the second quarter. Moore looking to go on the drive, nothing there. Picks up her dribble. Now it's going to drop it off to Hightower. Then it's taken away by ICC. Layup, no good. Rebound for Williams, and it's there. Good job trailing the play that time by Williams. Williams was able to come back and clean up the miss and get the basket, make it a 31-24 contest. Largest lead of the night here for ICC now at 7. 550, excuse me, 542 to go. Inside they go to Dutton. Dutton's shot is up off the mark. No good. Nothing but gray shirts inside to grab the rebound. That was Miller who ripped it away, and now here comes ICC. Jenkins with it. Inside they go to Miller. Miller tried the extra pass. Looking to go inside to Buford, and it's going to be a travel. Didn't really see the travel that time. I think the official would want to be quick on the whistle 
with a jump ball. But instead called the travel, so a break there for ICC. So it'll be Lady Indians basketball on the sideline. Buford with it now, gives it back to Williams. A southpaw wants the three, halfway down, no good. Rebound, tipped out and controlled by Gadsden. 5.15 to go here, 31-24, ICC with the lead. High arching three and a foul on Jenkins. And that will send Hightower to the free throw line. One of those if you're Jenkins, yes, challenge, but don't swipe down at the player. As when she swiped down, she came across the arm and a smart play by Hightower. She felt the contact and fell to the floor. So this will send Hightower to the free throw line for a trio of free throw attempts. First one no good, awaiting the second here from Hightower. It's good. I was going to let you guys listen to uh, the gym right now on this next free throw attempt. You can literally hear the basketball dribble throughout the gym. So let's go to the floor and let you listen to this free throw attempt. And the second is, excuse me, the third and final free throw is no good. Yeah, not, there's a big crowd here, actually. I turn around and look behind me, there's a good crowd. Not very much of a crowd across the way. Just not a very vocal crowd. So if you're in the listening area, listening on ESPN 95.1 The Fan, want to come watch some ICC basketball, well, it's free this afternoon here at the Davis Event Center. So be sure and come out and join us the rest of this afternoon. Inside they go to McClatchy. McClatchy's shot is no good, but there's a foul. And McClatchy will head to the free throw line. And that is going to be Russell's second foul. I believe we had 13 fouls in the first quarter. This is going to be the seventh foul as that free throw is no good for McClatchy. Substitution into the game. This is going to be Kalen Hines for Gadsden State. So waiting the second free throw and the iron kind for McClatchy. She's got one point in the lead now, 32 to 25. Matching the large lead of the day for ICC. Loose ball on the floor. Great hustle that time by Whitney Watkins. Just could not quite find the handle on the basketball. Sometimes the ball just don't want to agree with you. And that's what happened there for Whitney Watkins, who made a great extra effort hustle play that time. Just slapped the ball away. Just could not find the handle on it. And the turnover gives it back to Gadsden State with 4.40 to play here until halftime. So Gadsden with the basketball. Wearing their road black, working right to left on your radio dial. Three-point basket, back iron, no. Rebound, tipped around, tipped around, and a foul is going to be whistled here on ICC on the rebound, and that's going to be on number four, Watkins. And we'll have more free throws coming up here. So that is going to be the second foul whistled on Watkins. That is going to be the team fifth foul. So this will send Gadsden to the free throw line. Berryman set to check in the next opportunity here for ICC. Free throw, no good. Berryman will check in. Watkins will check out this substitution being brought to you by the Little Caesars here in Fulton. Remember, you can get a $5 hot and ready pizza. Just drive by, pick it up, and you're on your way. Second free throw is good for Russell. That is going to be her first points of the contest. Makes it a six-point game now. Here comes ICC, drops it off to McClatchy. McClatchy sees a trap on the baseline, in trouble. Buford gets it, drives inside. Shot is off the mark, no good. Offensive rebound, got it. <laughs> Good job by Shania Buford staying with it that time. That is her eighth point of the game. She leads all scores in the contest. 34-26, four minutes to play now. ICC jumping in the trap. Gaston no problem breaking the press that time. Looking to go back door. Reverse layup. Oh, my goodness, a blocked shot that was clean as a new pair of shoes on the baseline. And the referees with an anticipation whistle. And that one's going to be called on Williams. That was a pretty clean block there for Williams. 
as the first free throw is up in and good for Frazier. It's her first points of the game. We're on pace for 50 fouls to be called today, folks. As the second free throw is good as well for Frazier. Big makes that time for Frazier, makes it a 34-28 contest. McClatchy has it, goes underneath. A lot of contact, no foul called. More contact on that last shot than the previous shot. Here comes Gadsden, a chance to trim into this lead and a travel. Well, that's one thing, and, and you'll hear me talk about it a lot already if you've watched some broadcast, and you'll hear me talk about it in the future. You see players, a lot of times NBA players get rid of, get, get away with that first step without putting the ball on the floor. And you start to see that called a lot more now on this level. So 3.33 to play here. 34-28 is your score. ICC with the lead and the basketball. This is Wilson. The lane opens up for her. She drives inside. Shot is off the mark. No good. Gets her own rebound. Put back no, and there's a foul. One of those, you got to make those opportunities there if you're ICC. They have left a lot of points on the board from point blank range this evening. So this will be Wilson. Wilson is three of four from the charity stripe. All three of her points coming from the free throw line. And her first free throw is no good. Well, she had made three in a row before taking that one, missed it. And the substitution coming in the game now is going to be number 24, Crawford, for Gadsden State. 34-28 is your score. ICC with the lead. Wilson at the free throw line. And her second free throw, nothing but the bottom of the net that time. ICC goes up 35-28. Basketball comes into the ICC Foundation and Alumni Affairs broadcast booth. And maybe Blink. Buford steps by the defender. Now want to drive inside. Lay up. Count the basket. Buford took some contact after the layup. Was able to shake it off in ICC now with their large lead of the day. And a timeout taken by Gadsden State. 2.57 to play here in the second quarter of play. 30-second timeout. We're going to take it with them and be back with more right after this on Let's Go ICC TV.com and ESPN 95.1 The Fan. This broadcast of ICC Athletics is being brought to you by Renaissance Bank, Little Caesars, Davis Ford, The Sonic of Fulton, Tupelo Coca-Cola Bottling Works, The Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, First American National Bank, The ICC BSU, Your Itawama County Farm Bureau Agent, Joey Cox, Cagle Eye Center, The ICC Foundation, the Bank of Oklahoma, and the ICC Alumni Association. And welcome back as we reset out of the timeout. 37 to 28, ICC with the lead over Gadsden State with 2.44 to play here until halftime. Gadsden with the basketball. We've got a whistle. And that foul is going to be whistled on Keeley Wilson. There have been 25 foul calls here in the first half. As the first free throw is good. Three points for Hines. As the substitution coming in the game now, this is going to be number 22, Rendesia Creighton. Creighton checking into the game here for ICC. Second free throw is off the mark, no good, and guess what? Another whistle. And that foul is going to be whistled on Tanisha Miller. So this will send Crawford back to the free throw line. She's 0 for 2 in the afternoon from the charity stripe. And 0 for 3 now. She's got six points, all six of those coming in the first quarter of play. 2.39 to play here. Second free throw, that one off the mark. There's another offensive rebound. Shot was blocked, though, and then ICC loses the handle of it out of bounds. 
So Gaston getting plenty of opportunities. Second, third, and this will be the fourth opportunity on this possession. This trip down the floor. Two and a half to play here in the contest, 37 to 29. And they try to go inside, and it's taken away that time by ICC. Brownlee, who checked in during that last exchange. Also, it appears that Sarah Berriman has checked in as well during that timeout. And there's a foul, a hand check foul called here on Gadsden State. No, he called it an arm bar. And if you're familiar with the WCW days, that is one of the 1,004 holds by Chris Jericho, the arm bar. So that will send Sarah Berryman to the free throw line. First free throw for Berryman, back iron no good. Berryman, two for three from the charity stripe. So locked in that arm bar, couldn't get her to tap out. But waiting the second free throw, and that one's off the mark, no good. Neither free throw good for Berryman that time, and now here comes Gadsden on the other end. Gaston drives inside, big time block shot. As that was Tanisha Miller. Tanisha with at least five block shots on the afternoon and we've only played one half. Matter of fact, we still got two minutes to go in this half. My goodness, this has been a long game. And there's gonna be a foul whistled on Shania Buford. As 2.08 to play here, 37 to 29, as that's the first foul called on Buford. This will be Crawford to the free throw line. And that free throw, no good. Crawford 0 for 5 from the charity stripe. Well, you're, you're getting to see plenty of free throws shot today. Awaiting the second free throw on its way, and that one no good. Rebound's going to be tipped out of bounds, and it should belong to ICC, and it will. Two oh six to play here. 37-29 is your score. ICC with the lead over Gadsden State. Lady Indians throw over the top of the press. Buford with it is going to dribble it into the front court. She's being guarded closely by Morgan Blaylock. I've been very impressed with the defensive play of Blaylock this afternoon. Buford having to pick up her dribble, and there's another touch foul. This one called on Crawford. That's going to be her second foul, and this will send number 14, Shania, or excuse me, yes, 14, Shania Buford to the free throw line. It was the 30th foul called in the first half. First free throw, no good. 30 fouls in the first half. Awaiting the second free throw here, Buford the only player in double digits, and she gets it. She now has 11 to lead all scores in the contest, and ICC back up by nine. That's their largest lead of the afternoon. And count the basket on the other end, and there is a foul. That foul whistled on number 13, Brownlee. So a chance at a three-point play the old-fashioned way here for number 24, Crawford, who now has eight points. Give her nine. It's her first make from the free throw line this afternoon. And we've got another foul. And they're going to call a foul on ICC, an illegal screen. Back to the free throw line we go, Morgan Blaylock. Well, it's a good thing that a mission is free today because fans may want their money back with this free throw expedition that's going on. As that first free throw is up in and good. As Blaylock now with three points. Awaiting the second and it's good as well. 38 to 34 is your score. And ICC is going to take a timeout with 1.38 to play here until halftime. Let's take the timeout with them. 
Back with more right after this. ICC leads it 38-34 here over Gadsden in the second quarter. The newly formed Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi wants to make sure you are receiving the best orthopedic care possible. Our staff of seven experienced board certified surgeons specialize in a specific area of the body and can treat you with the newest and latest technology available to fast track your road to recovery. Call us for same day appointments at 662-377-BONE and come see us at Gloucester Creek Village in Tupelo at the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. Our specialty is you. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we reset out of the timeout. It's ICC 38, Gadsden 34. Gadsden has trailed as much as nine here in the second half, but have cut back into this contest thanks to the free throw line. Stolen away by Gadsden, and there's a foul. Whistle on ICC on the putback. That is the 5'10", 15, 20, 25, 33rd foul called here in the first half. And so this will send number 24, Crawford, back to the free throw line. That one's off the mark, no good. One thirty-one to play here until halftime. Maybe we'll eventually get there. We're waiting the second free throw and it's good. Ten points now for Crawford. Makes it a 38-35 contest. So ICC, after building a nine-point lead, sees Gadsden come back and make it a three-point contest. Going to throw over the top of the press. Miller zips it up the floor to Buford. Buford, her shot was partially blocked. Good job that time by Gadsden to get out and block the shot and negate the easy basket. Thought about the three, now driving inside. Wild shot put up and a foul call. So that's going to send Gadsden back to the free throw line one more time. So this will send Morgan Blaylock back to the free throw line. I'm going to have to count up the free throws attempted here in the first half at halftime. It may be close to a record. As this free throw is good. This will be the 28th free throw attempted for Gadsden, and it's good. You don't even see 28 free throws attempted in a game sometime, let alone the first half. Up the floor they go to Miller. Miller wants to go inside. Jumper good for Tanisha Miller. Big basket knocked down that time by Miller, and then the ball's going to be turned over by Gadsden. So Miller with seven points, pushes the lead back out to three. Let's go, let's go. No kick. And so ICC trying to break the press, throws it to midcourt to Buford. Buford up the four, they go to McClatchy, back to Buford, layup is good. <laughs> Good job by ICC to answer back on their own as Buford now with 13 points. Finally under a minute to play here. As Gaston with the basketball, trying to go on the drive, nothing there. Swings it around the perimeter, looking to go baseline, and it's going to be a half-hearted whistle blue, and the referee's going to say she stepped out of bounds. So they're going to say out of bounds on the drive. And ICC's going to miscommunication. They were going to try to throw over the top of the press. Watkins broke towards the ball, and the turnover gives it back now to Gadsden. There's about a second and a half difference between the game clock and the shot clock. Around the perimeter they go, looking to go inside. Strong move in the paint. Turnaround shot off the glass, no good. That's got to be over the back, and it is. That foul whistled on Gadsden. And that's going to be the third foul on Crawford. The 40th foul of the first half. 4-0, folks. 
So this will send Tanisha Miller to the free throw line. This could come down to who has enough players left to play at the end of the day. As that free throw is off the mark, no good. Sam corrected me, he is right, that is 35. I counted my check marks twice on that side. As that first free throw is no good. So only 35 fouls have been called, but still it's 35 fouls that have been called in the first half. Second free throw is off the mark, no good. Rebound loose on the floor. ICC gets it, Buford with it, three seconds. Two seconds, fires it up, and it's halfway down, no good. And that's how we'll end the first half of play. Your score here at halftime, ICC 42, Gadsden State 37. We're going to take a break and come back with the Little Caesars halftime report right after this on Let's Go ICCTV.com and ESPN 95.1 The Fan. First American National Bank is a local bank. Our 10 locations are right here in northeast Mississippi. Banking decisions are made locally by people who live here. It's been that way for more than 50 years. Our involvement in the community is important to us. That's where our roots are. Technology, it changes daily. But our community is what keeps us together. If you like high-tech banking, we've got that too. Follow the flag to First American National Bank. From Iuka to Tupelo. Crunchy Fritos, warm chili, melty cheese, all together for 99 cents. It's like real comfort food. I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone, and these guys keep pulling me back in. Pulling me back in. Hurry in for Sonic's Fritos Chili Cheese Faves starting at 99 cents. And try order ahead to get happy hour anytime. Sonic's Fritos Chili Cheese Faves. A Fritos Chili Pie. Juicy Junior Burger. Or Junior Wrap. Does all this comfort come at a price? Yes, it starts at 99 cents. Hurry in for Sonic's Fritos Chili Cheese Faves. Celebrate outrageous amounts of toppings with Little Caesars Extra Most Bestest. With the most cheese and now with the most toppings at the nation's best price. Create your favorite pizza starting at six bucks. Pay, then express pickup at Little Caesars. Pizza, pizza. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. After an hour, we're finally done with the first half of play. ICC leads it 42-37 here over Gadsden State at the break. 42-37, ICC is the score. Let's take a look at some first half stats being brought to you by the Sonic here in Fulton. And let's start with Gadsden State. It was Hines with three points. Hightower had five points. Russell with one. Ralston with five points. Frazier with two. Uh, it's going to be Blaylock with three, four, five, let's see, three, four, five, six points. Crawford with ten, Langham with two, and Payne with three. Of course, these stats always unofficial here. Whitney Watkins uh, with two points for ICC. Kayla Wilson had two. Seven points for Tanisha Miller. Three for Tabria Gandy. Two for Sarah Berryman. Thirteen points for Shania Buford. Zaria Jenkins with six points. Shamaya Williams with two. It was uh, Wilson with four. And then you had McClatchy with one to round out the scoring here for ICC in the first half. We're going to take a break and hear a few words from our sponsors and be back with more of the Little Caesars halftime report right after this on ESPN 95 won the fan and let's go ICCTV.com. With the Little Caesars mobile app, you can customize an extra most bestest pizza with the most cheese and now with the most of any toppings for the nation's best price. It's the crowning pizza achievement. And it's true what they say. It's lonely at the top. Unless you have an extra most bestest pizza. Then it's a party at the top! Little Caesars extra most bestest pizzas. The world's easiest way to outrageous amounts of toppings starting at six bucks. Pizza, pizza. The newly formed Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi wants to make sure you are receiving the best orthopedic care possible. Our staff of seven experienced board certified surgeons specialize in a specific area of the body and can treat you with the newest and latest technology available to fast track your road to recovery. Call us for same day appointments at 662-377-BONE and come see us at Gloucester Creek Village in Tupelo at the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. Our specialty is you. First American National Bank is a local bank. Our 10 locations are right here in Northeast Mississippi. Banking decisions are made locally by people who live here. 
It's been that way for more than 50 years. Our involvement in the community is important to us. That's where our roots are. Technology, it changes daily, but our community is what keeps us together. If you like high-tech banking, we've got that too. Follow the flag to First American National Bank from Iuka to Tupelo. Davis Ford in Fulton is your Ford dealer for new cars, trucks, and SUVs and has a wide inventory of certified pre-owned vehicles. Find your next dream car or truck from our Ford showroom or go online to davisfordsales.com and search our new and used inventory to see what is on our lot. So stop by and test drive the all-new fuel-efficient Ford Focus or Ford Fusion or the new Ford Explorer or F-150. Go further with Davis Ford, 904 West Main Street in Fulton or online davisfordsales.com. This broadcast of ICC Athletics is being brought to you by Renaissance Bank, Little Caesars, Davis Ford, The Sonic of Fulton, Tupelo Coca-Cola Bottling Works, The Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, First American National Bank, The ICC BSU, Your Itawama County Farm Bureau Agent, Joey Cox, Cagle Eye Center, The ICC Foundation, The Bank of Oklahoma, and The ICC Alumni Association. Houston, you signed with Mississippi State. I mean, very great opportunity there. Tell me about what the process and why you wanted to sign with them. Well, the process, um, it was pretty long, uh, but I'm very grateful, I'm very tremendously blessed, and um, I'm very excited to continue at the next level. Obviously, it's every kid's dream to play SEC baseball, and I just cannot wait uh, to get started and get the ball rolling. So. How long, it, how, how long was the process? Was it? it was about about the end of last year um, up until around the end of the semester. Um, I was getting hammered pretty hard on it. So, okay. New coach, uh, feedback maybe you've got, but, but they've got some, form, some coaches there, so the staff Definitely. is still there. So um, what's the feedback you've got from them? What, what do you like about them? Well, I love Coach Lamonis and his staff. Um, I was able to get a good relationship with Coach Foxhall, who is the pitching coach, and um, that, I'd say that was the ultimate decision uh, factor in making my decision was the relationship I grew with him. Um, but I love Coach Lamonis and what he's got going with the program, and I'm uh, very looking forward to watching him play this year and obviously stepping in and um, hopefully making a difference for him next year. Right. And as you mentioned, maybe of course it's still a year away. Right. Maybe where, where you'll fit in as far as that goes? Um, in the rotation, hopefully somewhere. Um, I'll. You know, obviously I'm going to put my best foot forward and go and strive to be a starting pitcher, but um, we'll see. We will see. But you still got another year. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. We have unfinished business here first, so that's what I'm looking forward to right now. Yeah, tell me about building on that because you had a good year last year and then coming back and, and doing, trying to do even better. Yes, sir. Um, you know, we have a great squad. I love my team. Um, I can't wait to go to war with them in the spring, and uh, I know that we will be on the – on the lookout for a uh, ring. So. We've done this before. You've had, you know, you got another one moving on to the next level, and it's SEC makes it even more special, I suppose. Yes, uh, I'm excited for uh, Hootie. Uh, he, he's an outstanding left-handed pitcher, uh, a great young man, uh, command of every one of his pitches, uh, works hard, uh, he's changed his body with us, uh, his below's jumped, uh, just working hard, good things pay off when you work hard. The good thing is you got another year with him too. You can he can improve even on what what he did last year. Yeah, we're excited about him. We uh, he'll he'll be out there every uh, fourth ball game. Uh, one of our starters and uh, had an exceptional year last year, and we we expect the same out of him this time. The newly formed Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi wants to make sure you are receiving the best orthopedic care possible. Our staff of seven experienced board certified surgeons specialize in a specific area of the body and can treat you with the newest and latest technology available to fast track your road to recovery. Call us for same day appointments at 662-377-BONE and come see us at Gloucester Creek Village in Tupelo at the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. Our specialty is you. Ever since you got that license, you've been on the move. We get it. With student checking, we have the tools to keep you going. Take care of that check from grandma without stopping at the bank. Pay with your phone when you're out with friends. And we'll even pay you back for ATM fees. So keep on going, and we'll stick with you wherever you go. Renaissance Bank, understanding you. Member FDIC. 
This broadcast of ICC Athletics is being brought to you by Renaissance Bank, Little Caesars, Davis Ford, the Sonic of Fulton, Tupelo Coca-Cola Bottling Works, the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, First American National Bank, the ICC BSU, your Itawama County Farm Bureau agent, Joey Cox, Cagle Eye Center, the ICC Foundation, the Bank of Oklahoma, and the ICC Alumni Association. With the Little Caesars mobile app, you can customize an extra most bestest pizza with the most cheese and now with the most of any toppings for the nation's best price. It's the crowning pizza achievement. And it's true what they say. It's lonely at the top. Unless you have an extra most bestest pizza. Then it's a party at the top! Little Caesars Extra Most Bestest Pizzas, the world's easiest way to outrageous amounts of toppings, starting at six bucks. Pizza, pizza. And welcome back to action, ladies and gentlemen, as we're just moments away from the start of the second half here between ICC and Gadsden State. Just to recap real quick, there were 35 fouls called in the first half. Both teams combined for nearly 50 free throws, and an hour later, we're finally through with the first half. It was Shania Buford who led the way for ICC with 13 points and 10 points from Jaliah Crawford to lead the way for Gadsden. We do want to welcome all those watching in favor of Gadsden State. Uh, Gadsden has not returned to the floor yet. So waiting for Gadsden to come back out. Yep. That's, that's, that's the difference there, and, and Coach Gray pointed that out as well at, to the officials. In Alabama, they have longer half times. When we went to Gadsden, they had 17 minutes halftime. We have 10 here in Mississippi, so Gadsden having to adjust to that. They do run onto the floor, so a good job by the referees being patient, allow them to get on the floor and kind of make sure everybody's set on the bench as well. So here we go, starting the second half of play. ICC with a 42-37 advantage here over Gadsden. They'll ICC now be in their grays, moving right to left on your radio dial. Gadsden in their road black, moving left to right. Inside they go to Gandy, and there's a travel. Good call by the official that time as Gandy just could not get the room to get the ball down the floor before taking that step, and the turnover gives the ball back to Gadsden. On the floor for ICC is number 11, Trebria Gandy, number 14, Shania Buford, number 15, Zaria Jenkins, number 10, that's Tanisha Miller, and number five is Kaylin Watkins. Those are your Coca-Cola second half starters here for ICC. And Gadsden, after ICC turns it over, Gadsden returns the favor and turns it over on their first possession of the second half. Gadsden now is gonna come out in a full court press. They had some success off and on in the first half. With the pressure defense, ICC no problem. Throw over the top, trying to get to Buford. Buford, extra pass. Layup is good. <laughs> Nicely done that time by ICC. Buford just drops it off. Got the easy layup, and ICC with the basket, and they take a seven-point advantage now, 44-37. to 37. Real quick, want to give a shout-out back in the studio to Seth Kent, who is running things, and there's going to be a foul whistled here on Kalen Wilson. And Wilson that time, rightfully so the foul called. She was a little bit out of control heading towards the young lady of Gadsden as it goes back to Gadsden on the sideline. That is her third foul, team first foul, here in the second half on ICC. Gadsden with the basketball. This is going to be Hines with it, who dribbles up top and resets the offense. Now drops it over on the left wing to Russell. Russell driving baseline, wild shot, kiss off the glass is good for Russell. That is her third point of the game and a little bit of Luck got that one in, but that's all that matters if it goes through. So a good job that time by Russell to get the kiss off the glass. A Renaissance Bank bank shot in, makes it 44 to 39. There's a jumper, good. And that's gonna be Miller. Miller with her ninth point of the game and back and forth we go in this one. ICC 46, Gadsden 39, and there's Miller with the steal. Miller wanting to get out and run. It's a three on one opportunity here, drops it off. Inside they go, layup is good. ICC getting out in transition that time. Kaylin Wilson gets the basket, her fourth point of the game. And ICC now pushes the lead back to nine, matching their largest lead of the contest. Last time ICC led by nine, Gaston was able to quickly get back into the contest, cut it down to a two-point game. 
But ICC was able to take a 42-37 advantage into the break. Loose ball on the floor. Gaston gets it, looking to go inside. Lay up too hard. Rebound tipped out. Gaston corrals it, and they'll reset. Looking to go into the corner. Had to climb the ladder to catch that one. Deep three on its way. Off the mark, no good. And the rebound is to Jenkins. Jenkins looking to push on the opposite side of the floor. Throws it forward. The ball is going to be out of bounds. And Touched last by Gaston. We'll have a substitution coming in here for ICC. This is going to be number 20. That is going to be Williams into the contest. Checking out will be Kalen Wilson. So with 24 seconds on the shot clock, ICC leading this one 48-39 with 7.25 to play. Gandy with the basketball. She's been quiet for the most part. She hit a three early, and since then has been on the sideline due to foul trouble. Tried to throw it off that time, and it's off the leg of Gandy. Loose ball on the floor, and it's going to be a timeout taken here by Gadsden State. Wow. So they call the jump ball, a timeout on the jump ball. A break there for Gadsden. ICC fans not happy. Let's take a break and be back with more right after this. This broadcast of ICC Athletics is being brought to you by Renaissance Bank, Little Caesars, Davis Ford, The Sonic of Fulton, Tupelo Coca-Cola Bottling Works, The Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, First American National Bank, The ICC BSU, Your Itawama County Farm Bureau Agent, Joey Cox, Kegel Eye Center, The ICC Foundation, The Bank of Oklahoma, and The ICC Alumni Association. And welcome back to action, ladies and gentlemen, as we reset out of the timeout. Running layup is good for Hines, who just basically caught the inbounds pass with the length of the floor and got the basket to go. Makes it a 48-41 contest in favor of ICC. Deep three off the mark, no good. Rebound's going to be chased down. Good hustle that time by Williams to keep the ball alive for ICC. Inside they go to Jenkins. Jenkins lost a hand on the basketball. And now Gaston wanting to get out and run. Gaston trying to up the pace a little bit. Running layup is off the mark, no good. And over the back is going to be the call here on Jenkins. Well, one referee called it on Gadsden. There was no way that foul was on Gadsden, and they did get it right. As that foul is going to be whistled on Zaria Jenkins, that is going to be her third foul, team second foul here in the second half. And Jenkins will check out. Checking in will be number 21, Keeley Wilson. So ICC leads by seven, 6.38 to play here. In the second half, they try to go inside, and Gandy steps in front of the pass and takes it away. Tabria Gandy wanting to get out in the open floor. Pauses, now drives inside, is hammered. Couldn't get the shot to fall, but she'll head to the free throw line. That foul was on number 20. Morgan Frazier, her second foul, team first foul. And this will send Tabria Gandy to the free throw line. We'll have a substitution coming in at the next opportunity here for Gadsden. First free throw from Gandy is up in and good. Gandy with four points and what sounds to be a pretty big crowd here supporting the freshman out of Starkville. She's got four points. Looking for another here and gets it go. Five points now for Gandy in the contest. An ICC lead back to nine, 50 to 41. 6.22 to go here in the first quarter of play. There you go. Step back jumper is good. Beautiful shot that time by number five. That was Russell. She's got her fifth point of the contest. Back to a seven point game. Baseline jumper on its way, bouncing around and good. Well, the iron kind that time for Shamaya Williams, who now has four points in the contest. The offense is starting to heat up a little bit. Now they can play more than a minute without a whistle being blown. Three-point basket is good. That was number five with the basket. Back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back baskets now for Russell. And she's got eight points, and it's a 52-46 contest. Gandy stepped back. Off the mark, no good. Rebound's going to be tipped out. Gandy's going to try to chase it down. Can't do so. And throws it into the crowd. Well, it's somebody's birthday today. Is there some happy birthday balloons across the way? So happy birthday to whomever it may be. 
as the ball goes out of bounds and it's back to Gadsden. 5.29 to play here. ICC 52, Gadsden State 46. This is Hines with the basketball. She crosses it into the front court. The coach asks her to slow down and reset the offense. Works it over now to Frazier on the left wing. Frazier looking to dribble it around. Now skip pass over to Russell. Russell has had the hot hand that one off the mark. Air ball out of bounds. Back to the Lady Indians. Substitution into the game here is going to be number 23. This is going to be Morgan Blaylock. Blaylock had six points in the first half. As she checks back into the game, this substitution being brought to you by Renaissance Bank. Renaissance Bank, understanding you. RenaissanceBank.com. Driving inside on the layup, hard, no good. Rebound to Miller, hook shot, good. Tanisha Miller gets the shot to fall. She's got 11 points, and there's a steal at half court by ICC. Wilson goes inside, is hit, but couldn't get the shot to fall, and she'll go back to the free throw line. Good job that time by Keeley Wilson to go up and pick the pocket of the ball handler of Gadsden State that time. 54-46 as we go back to the free throw line. Stop me if you've heard that before. As this will be Wilson to the free throw line. She's got four points. She's four of six from the charity stripe this afternoon. Her first attempts here in the second half. Free throw, flat iron. Oh, no good. Not a whole lot of bend in the knee that time. By Wilson as she kind of sprung up awkwardly. So Wilson will have a, another opportunity. Here on the tail end of this two-shot opportunity. Second free throw, much better looking and much better results that time as that is the fifth point of the game for Wilson. Substitution into the game here for Gadsden State. This is going to be Hightower. Hightower will check in with five points. Hightower with the basketball, tries to drive inside. Good help defense for ICC to take it away. 55-46, and there's a foul called, and this is going to be on number 21, Keely Wilson, and that is going to be her third foul, so this will get a substitution in the game here, and that's going to be Whitney Watkins checking in for ICC. This substitution being brought to you by the ICC Baptist Student Union. Follow them on Twitter, at ICCBSU, as they try the entry pass that time to Payne. It was too far out of her reach, out of bounds, back to the Lady Indians. 55-46 is the score. Then there's Gaston to take away the interior pass and then a timeout taken by Gaston before she goes out of bounds. 55-46, ICC with the lead. Back with more right after this. Crunchy Fritos, warm chili, melty cheese, all together for 99 cents. It's like real comfort food. I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone and these guys keep pulling me back in. Pulling me back in. Hurry in for Sonic's Fritos Chili Cheese Faves starting at 99 cents and try order ahead to get happy hour anytime. Sonic's Fritos Chili Cheese Faves. A Fritos Chili Pie. Juicy Junior Burger. Or Junior Wrap. Does all this comfort come at a price? Yes, it starts at 99 cents. Hurry in for Sonic's Fritos Chili Cheese Faves. And welcome back as we reset out of the timeout here on Let's Go ICC TV.com and ESPN 95 won the fan. ICC with a 55 46 lead. Running layup is off the mark, no good. Offensive rebound, that put back, no good. And this shot blocked out of bounds by Shamaya Williams after the third time for Gadsden State. There's 4.18 to play here in the third quarter. 55-46, ICC with the lead. Gaston with the basketball on the baseline on their side of the floor. Looking to get it inbounds. Near five-second violation. Ball slapped away. Good ball fake and got the shot to fall. Well, that time Payne saw she was surrounded by ICC players. ICC has blocked at least seven shots this afternoon. Ball fake, got him in the air and got the easy basket to fall. Trying to answer on the other end, ICC misses the jumper from the key by Williams. Rebound was Denise Familiar. Williams now kicks it in the corner to Gandy. Gandy eyes, tries, can't buy the three-point basket and the rebound is to Gaston State. 55-48, 3.50 to play. Gaston now wanting to get out and push the issue. That's Hightower trying to drive inside, drops it off, layup is good. Back-to-back -back baskets by Payne. And a big basket there, and here come the Lady Cardinals. They now trail by five. Trailed as much as nine here in the second half. ICC with the basketball now. They drop it off to Gandy. Man-to-man -man defense out of the Lady Cardinals. 
Gandy with the basketball, dribbling at the point guard position. Now passes over to the right wing. A little give and go action underneath. Layup is good. No, missed it. As that time, the ball was halfway down, just could not get it to fall. And they're going to say it was last touch by Gadsden State. Then ICC a little frustrated, not getting back defensively. Layup is no good. High Towers rebound. Second shot is no good. And ICC dodges a big-time bullet there as they got the rebound. Buford goes inside, and that's going to be a charge. Good call by the official that time as the player from Gadsden was set up and took the charge, and she's a little slow getting up. And that's going to be number 23, Morgan Blaylock, who is having to be helped up on her own. And she waves the coach off as there is a timeout taken on the floor by ICC. Full timeout on the floor. Let's take it with, or excuse me, 30-second timeout on the floor. Let's take it with them. ICC leading 55-50, but Gadsden charging back in this one. Back with more right after this. Hey guys, this is Madison. I'm a freshman at Itawamba Community College and I just wanted to remind you there's still time to register for classes and join me as part of the ICC family. Registration is open January 7th through the 15th for the upcoming spring semester. Visit apply.iccms.edu for more information or you can stop by one of our three locations in Fulton, Tupelo, and Belden. Itawamba Community College, the best start here. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we reset out of the timeout. ICC 55, the Lady Cardinals of Gadsden State 50. There's 3.03 to go here in the third quarter of play. And Gadsden with the basketball. ICC and a little bit of a token-like press, not much of a press as Hightower trots the ball into the front court and sets the offense. Man-to-man -man defense out of the Lady Indians. Hightower tries to step back. Jumper's no good in the rebound to Shania Buford. Buford with the basketball now. Now splits it up the floor in a hurry. This is Williams with it. Back to Buford. Buford wants the three. No. Couldn't get it to fall. Gandy, though, chases down the rebound. Now looking to drive baseline. Weaving her way through traffic. Nothing there. Now drives inside. Goes up. Her shot's no good. A lot of contact. No foul call. Now Gaston wanting to get out and run. On the other end and the layup. No, they call a travel. Well, Gadsden's coach thought he got away with one there as he turned, kind of turned his head around, laughing, shaking his head in agreement with the official. So a big-time break there for the Lady Indians with the extra steps on the turnover. So anything you could do, I could do better over the last minute or so of this contest. ICC still maintaining this 55-50 lead over the Lady Cardinals with 2.15 to play. Inside out they go, three-point basket, bouncing around no good. ICC starting to settle for those low-percentage shots. Can't get any of them to fall. Gaston, however, trying to get down the floor and gets the shot to fall. Looked like she got away with steps again that time, but Hightower got the layup, her seventh point of the game. It's a three-point contest, and we've got a foul on the floor. That foul's going to be whistled on Hightower of Gadsden State. Her first foul, team third foul, with 1.54 to play. Well, we talked about it at halftime. There was a lot of fouls called in the first half as both teams combined for nearly 50 free throws in the first half. As this is going to be Williams driving inside. Her layup is good. Well, Williams got a really good screen from McClatchy that time, and that's going to be inside, and that's going to be a foul whistled on McClatchy. But you can finish my thought. It was a great screen at up the floor by McClatchy that freed up Williams for that easy layup to make it a 57-52 contest. So Payne will head to the free throw line where she's one of two unofficially on the afternoon. See a lot more fans starting to make their way into the gym, the Davis Event Center here this afternoon as the first free throw is off the mark. No good for Payne. Substitution coming in the game. This is going to be number 10, Tanisha Miller, into the contest for ICC. McClatchy will check out this substitution being brought to you by Davis Ford. Visit davisfordsautosales.com for more information. As the second free throw is good for Payne, she now has seven. And it's a 57-53 contest as the ball punted out of bounds by Morgan Frazier. If Coach Sean Cannon's here, he would have enjoyed that one. So 141 to go here, 57-53, ICC with the lead. They're going to throw over the top of the press. Gandy streaking back, lets traffic clear. 
Layup, good. Nicely done that time by Gandhi to allow traffic to clear and get the shot to fall. A friendly roll that time. She's got seven points. Hightower on the drive, kicks it out. Spot up three. Yes. Big time make that time for Morgan Frazier. As that one drilled, it's a three-point contest. 59-56, coming up on a minute to play. Gandy is going to be fouled, and that's going to be on Hightower. I believe that's going to be her second foul. Not a bad foul on the part of Hightower that time. If Hightower doesn't commit that foul, it was a wide-open lane for a drive to the basket by Gandy. And so now ICC, will they head to the free? No. Next foul will put ICC on the free throw line as that's only the fourth foul. That was the second foul of the game on Hightower. So Williams to inbounds it on the far side of the floor here from the ICC Alumni Association and Foundation broadcast booth. Visit iccms.edu for more information on the Foundation and Alumni Association and on how you can support Itawamba Community College. Baseline jumper on its way, bouncing no good. Rebound tipped out. It's going to be corralled by Gandy. Gandy's going to back it out over to Buford. Buford eyes, tries, can't buy the three-point basket. And the rebound ripped down again by Tanisha Miller. Miller has been a rebounding machine for the Lady Indians in this contest this afternoon. 37 seconds to play here in the third quarter. ICC is going to try to melt the clock as much as they can here. Buford wanting to go one-on-one. -on -one. Now looking to drive inside. Great defense on the part of Gadsden. Three-point basket from Gandy. Off the mark, no good. And guess what? Miller rips another rebound for ICC, and there's a travel. Well, that time I don't think Watkins was expecting the basketball. As she shuffled her feet and turns it back over to Gadsden. Tanisha Miller just killing the boards on those last three or four possessions. As now ICC is going to have to hold tight here. A three-point basket can tie it heading into the fourth quarter here. Hightower with the basketball. Eight seconds to play. Hightower wanting to look like she's wanting to work one-on-one. -on -one. Looking to go inside. Drives. Her shot blocked. Gandy going to have to fire. Puts it up. And it's short. No good. Great defense to close the quarter there for ICC. 59-56. Lady Indians lead it. We'll take a break and hear a few words from our sponsors and be back with more right after this on Let's Go ICCTV.com and ESPN 95.1 The Fan. First American National Bank is a local bank. Our 10 locations are right here in Northeast Mississippi. Banking decisions are made locally by people who live here. It's been that way for more than 50 years. Our involvement in the community is important to us. That's where our roots are. Technology, it changes daily. But our community is what keeps us together. If you like high tech banking, we've got that too. Follow the flag to First American National Bank. From Iuka to Tupelo. The newly formed Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi wants to make sure you are receiving the best orthopedic care possible. Our staff of seven experienced board certified surgeons specialize in a specific area of the body and can treat you with the newest and latest technology available to fast track your road to recovery. Call us for same day appointments at 662-377-BONE and come see us at Gloucester Creek Village in Tupelo at the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. Our specialty is you. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we reset, getting set to start the fourth quarter of play, ICC leading the Lady Cardinals of Gadsden State 59-56. to This one, who wants it the most as ICC has led as much as nine in the second half. Gadsden has yet to lead in the second half. They led by two early in the contest for the most part. It's been all ICC this afternoon, but Gadsden not going quietly into the afternoon. Three-point basket, no good, but a great job by Hightower to follow her shot. Had the rebound, lost it, and a timeout taken by ICC to keep in possession. Gandy, a little slow to get up off the floor. Good show of sportsmanship on the part of Morgan Frazier that time to keep and, excuse me, help Gandy off the floor. Timeout on the floor. Let's take another timeout and hear a few words from our sponsors. Back with more right after this. This broadcast of ICC Athletics is being brought to you by Renaissance Bank, Little Caesars, Davis Ford, the Sonic of Fulton, Tupelo Coca-Cola Bottling Works, the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, First American National Bank, the ICC BSU, your Itawama County Farm Bureau agent, Joey Cox, Kegel Eye Center, the ICC Foundation, the Bank of Oklahoma, and the ICC Alumni Association. Yeah. 
And welcome back to action, ladies and gentlemen. Resetting out of the timeout. 9.42 and counting to go here in the contest. ICC with a 59-56 lead here over Gadsden State. ICC and their home grays working right to left on your radio dial. Spin move. Running layup is good. Williams with the spin and the finish. A beautiful play that time on the part of Shamaya Williams to get her eighth point of the contest. It makes it a 61-56 game now. ICC actually looks like they're going to fall back in a 2-3 zone. Don't really see that a lot out of a Nancy Gray coach basketball team. First time we've seen it this afternoon out of the Lady Indians. Seven seconds now on the shot clock. Shot from the key is up halfway down. No good. Rebound being tipped around and saved in bounds, but directly to Hightower. Hightower in the right spot at the right time that time to get the basketball to fall. 61-58, and you kind of heard it there in the background. Coach Nancy Gray said that's the reason why you don't save the basketball underneath the opposing team's basket. And that time, Hightower gets her ninth point of the game. It's a three-point contest, 61-58. 8.48 to play here in regulation. Remind you, the guys' game action coming your way next as there's a steal on the inbounds, and then the shot was blocked. Guess who? Shamaya Williams with the block. Wow. They're going to say ICC basketball as well. Lady India is catching a big-time break there as they're getting some substitutions in and off the floor here. So ICC blocks the shot and then even gets the ball back. So a big-time break there, tough break for Gadsden on the missed call. ICC quickly down the other end of the floor, drops it off inside to Miller. Miller puts her shot up. She's fouled. And a chance to go to the line on the for two free throws here. And Gadsden's coach coming up, Coach Dixon, saying same thing on the other end of the floor. So Miller to the free throw line here. Free throws could prove to be large in this contest. First one good for Tanisha Miller. I've got Miller with 12 points in the contest. Awaiting the second free throw here from the red shirt sophomore. And it's no good in the rebound, corralled by Gadsden. 62-58, ICC with the lead. Gadsden with the basketball. 8-28 to play here in the contest. Gadsden picks up the dribble, passes it over to Hightower, who wants an NBA range three. Off the mark, no good. Rebound, though, pulled down by Gadsden. Step back for a three-pointer. It's off the mark, no good. Hightower, the smallest player on the floor, gets the offensive board and resets the ball. Five seconds on the shot clock, however. It did not hit rim. Wild shot put up, no good. Third time, not a charm for the Lady Cardinals, and now here comes ICC. Beautiful bounce pass up the floor. Layup is good. Well, a great pass that time finds Kaitlyn Wilson for her sixth point of the contest. And ICC pulls away just a little bit here, but we've seen Gaston this all game refusing to go quietly into the afternoon. Gaston with the basketball. Running shot is up no good. A foul is going to be whistled on Tanisha Miller. Well, if you're Miller, you got to realize the player's a little bit out of control driving to the basket that time. you got to let her go. And that's going to be her second foul. And so this will send number 20, Morgan Frazier, to the free throw line. If you're about 10, 15 minutes within driving distance of Fulton, you still got plenty of time to get out for the men's game. It is free admission on Fan Appreciation Day. So you can make your way out there. If not, we do want to thank those that are tuning in here on ESPN 95.1 The Fan, 95.1 FM, your new home for ICC Athletics as Morgan Frazier Knocks down this second. She's got five points. And it's back to a four-point contest, 64 to 60. Plenty of time left in this one, 740 and counting. Gandy with the basketball. Thought about driving. Good job on hustling. Get back on defense that time by Moore. Baseline drive. Jumper is up off the mark. No good. Nobody on the backside to get the rebound for ICC as it was easily corralled that time by Crawford. Crawford wanting to go coast to coast. Wild shot put up and count the basket. Well, the official that was blocked by the play that time with an anticipation whistle and a big time break there for Gadsden as there was no contact on the play. And so this will send Crawford to the free throw line for a chance at a three point play the old fashioned way and a chance to make it a one point contest. 
She's got 12 points. Free throw on its way. Back iron no good, but there's an offensive rebound. Back to Crawford. Her layup is no good, and Miller rips the rebound. Wow, Gaston had a big-time opportunity there. As Gandy comes crashing into us here in the ICC Foundation and Alumni Association broadcast booth. And so it'll be ICC basketball right here in front of us. Indians leading it by two, 64-62 with 7-11 to play. Gandy got tripped up on the inbounds, was able to find it, though. And now he's going to dribble it back and reset the offense. Man-to-man -man defense out of Gadsden. Seven minutes to play. Who wants it the most? ICC or the Lady Cardinals? Spot up three-pointer from Buford. Yes. Big basket that time by Shania Buford. Her first points here in the second half. She's got a team high 16. Her third three-pointer of the game. 67-62. 6.40 to play here in the contest. ICC with the lead. Jumpers up off the mark, no good. The rebound easily corralled by Jenkins. And a ticky-tack foul called on Gadsden State there. She just simply, I don't even know if she made contact. Maybe the win made contact. But either way it goes, that's going to be a foul whistle on Crawford, and that's a big one as that's her fourth foul with six and a half to play. Gandy, spot-up jumper off the mark, no good. Rebound tipped around. Miller with it, gets the putback. Tanisha Miller, have yourself a game. She's got 14 points, and you got to think just about that many rebounds as well. Coming up on six minutes to play now, ICC pushes the lead back out to seven, 69-62. Looking to go on the drive, shot up, bouncing around, and good. That was number three, Moore with the basket that time, her first points of the contest. 69-64 now is the score coming up on 545 left in the contest. Gandy with the basketball, taking over the point guard position, drops it off to Buford. Buford trying to work off a screen, does so to Jenkins, now wanting to drive inside, drops it off, and that's going to be a charge, and it is. Well, good call by the referee that time as the young lady from Gaston, I missed who it was that time. That So it's going to be a foul on Buford, and that's going to be Buford's fourth foul. So two crucial scores, one for ICC, one for Gatson, each with four fouls in the contest with plenty of time to play. 5.35 left to go in the contest. This one's still in doubt, and then there's a steal by Tanisha Miller. Miller's going to drop it off to Buford. Buford running layup is good. Big time play that time by Miller with the steal. And that is going to be the 18th point of the game for Buford. And so, so 71-64 is the score. There's a little confusion on the ICC bench across the way. They thought it was originally called on number 10, Miller, but now they found out that it was called on Buford, and that's her fourth foul, so they're going to have to be careful here. ICC wanting to slow things down. Gaston wanting to get out and press. Up the floor they go, finds it to Jenkins. Jenkins hammered and a blocked shot out of bounds. And it will stay with ICC. Gaston stands warning fans, excuse me, wanting a jump ball. So it'll be ICC ball on the baseline. 21 seconds on the shot clock, 4.45 to play here in the contest. ICC with a 71-64 lead. Dangerous inbounds pass taken away by Gandy. Gandy thought about the three. Instead, he's going to drop it off inside to Jenkins. Jenkins. In trouble, now back up top to Gandy. Gandy lost the handle on it, now gets it back, drives inside, pump shot is up, off the glass and good. Well, that looked like a doomed possession from the get-go, but Gandy was able to find its way home. The bank is open, and Renaissance Bank, bank shot knocked down that time by Gandy. She's got nine points in the lead, is now back to nine for ICC, matching their largest lead of the afternoon. 4.15 to play. ICC 73, Gaston State 64. Moore with the basketball, driving inside, wild shot put up, and that being a, or excuse me, the bank shot is up in and good. And now Buford wanting to go down the other end. Her layup is up in and good. Anything you could do, I could do better in that exchange there. 20th point of the contest for Buford after that layup. 75-66 now is your score. 
Drive inside, reach in foul is going to be whistled on ICC. As I believe that foul is going to be whistled on number 10, Tanisha Miller. So that is going to be her third foul, team fourth foul. 3.44 to go here in the second half of play. They're going to say that was on the shot. There's no way that was on the shot. The whistle was blown before she put the shot up. So a break for Gadsden as the first free throw is no good. Substitutions into the game. One for, excuse me, two for Gadsden. That's going to be Hines and 23. Blaylock into the contest. For ICC, checking in is going to be Keely Wilson wearing number 21. Second free throw is good for Crawford. She now has 13 points to lead all scores. Or she's going to be lead the way for Gadsden. Wow, ICC got away with possible double dribble that time as Gandy's going to back it back out and reset the offense. Three and a half to play here. 17 seconds on the shot clock as Gandy dribbles back. She's being guarded closely by Blaylock. I've been very impressed with her defensive efforts this afternoon. Travel. No, they're going to call a foul on Gaston. So a big time break there. As soon as I compliment Morgan on her defensive play, she is called on the foul. I guess they're going to say her push is what caused the travel that time. So it'll be ICC basketball on the baseline. 75-67 is the score. Miller with the basketball, drops it off to Gandy. Gandy lets traffic tr clear. 3.15 to play in the contest. Gandy looking to go to work. And there's going to be a reach-in foul. And that foul's going to be whistled on Morgan Blaylock again. Her third foul, team fifth foul, so this will send ICC to the free throw line. This will send number 21, Keeley Wilson, to the free throw line. Wilson with five points, all five coming from the charity stripe this afternoon. First free throw, short, no good. Shania Buford will check back into the contest. Tabria Gandy will check out, figure for a moment to catch her breath. 3.07 to play here. That substitution being brought to you by the ICC Baptist Student Union. Second free throw, no good. Rebound tip, tipped into the hands of Buford and layup is up in and good. Nicely done by Buford. She's got 22 points. And it's a 10 point contest, largely the night for ICC. 77-67. ICC thought about pushing it. Instead, now it's going to back it back out and try to work some of the clock here with 2.44 to play in the contest. Buford with the basketball. ICC leading by 10. This is going to be Buford being closely guarded by Crawford. Crawford with four fouls on the evening. Wild shot put up no good. There's Miller with the rebound. Her putback's no good. And the rebound to Gaston State. Now Gaston's got numbers on the other end looking to drive inside. And running layup, no good. And the rebound is to Miller. Tanisha Miller has just cleaned the boards all afternoon as she has come out with a purpose to own the rebounding. As last we talked about it last time, Gaston dominated ICC on the boards as there's a running shot off the mark, no good. They held a 40-28 to 28 advantage rebounding. I don't think that's going to be the case today. Running layup, no good. Rebounds will be slapped out of bounds. Last touch by ICC. Smart play by Kaylin Wilson that time. She showed that she was going to block the shot, then pulled back on it, forced the miss. So with 154 to play in this one, 77 to 67 is your score. Gaston's going to quickly throw it in. This is Blaylock with it now, backs it back out. Gaston don't have to rush it, but do want to work with purpose. Instead, there's a turnover. Wilson takes it away. Nearly falls out of bounds, was able to keep her balance, and ICC is going to slow it down. 135 to play. Gaston, we'll see if they're going to elect to maybe extend this contest by fouling, or they're just going to try to play it out defensively. Looks like they're just going to try to play it out defensively here as ICC now with 10 seconds on the shot clock. This is Keeley Wilson with the basketball now, wanting to go to work. Wilson crosses over, driving in the paint, and she is fouled. That foul whistled on Russell of Gadsden State. Well, not one of those fouls they wanted to commit that time. As they were deep in the shot clock, you think if they were wanting to foul, they would have fouled early on there. 
So ICC with a chance to put this game away even more so, leading by 10 now with 117 to play. Free throw, no good. So ICC is going to clear out the paint in this situation as Wilson looking for the tail end of this two-shot opportunity. She's missed three in a row, wants to redeem herself here, and does so. Six points for Keeley Wilson, all from the charity stripe. ICC now leads it by 11, their largest lead of the afternoon with 1.14 to play. Gatson's going to have to start hurrying here. Drive inside and a block shot by Tanisha Miller. Another block shot by Miller. And there's a technical foul on the other end of the floor. And that's going to be on Russell. And so that is going to be her fifth foul as well. A technical foul. And free throws coming up here. That's Buford and she misses the free throw. Well, the Gadsden fans, who, by the way, have turned out well this afternoon, not pleased with that technical foul call. The second free throw is good for Buford, who now has a game-high 23. So it'll be... So... Russell will foul out after the technical foul with 105 to play. 79... To 67 is the score. And now it looks like Gass is going to let Tiprosley try to extend this contest as that's going to be a foul whistle there on Morgan Blaylock. And this will send ICC back to the free throw line. And this is going to leave, I believe, number 21, Keeley Wilson to the charity stripe. Keeley has got six points in the afternoon, all six from the charity stripe. And she misses that one. Substitution coming into the game here. This is going to be number 14, Shania Buford, out of the contest. Checking into the game is going to be Tabria Gandhi. Gandhi into the game. The substitution is being brought to you by Renaissance Bank. Second free throw is good for Wilson. She now has seven points. And the lead to 13 now inside a minute to play. Gaston going to have to hurry. Can't be too choosy on what shots you take. High tower, high arching three off the mark, no good. Rebound to ICC. We'll see if there's a steal. Great job that time by Gaston to get it back. Puts the shot up in a hurry, no good. High tower with the rebound. Morgan Blaylock, I've talked about her two or three times this afternoon. Been very impressed with that young lady's play defensively. Came up and stole the ball. Tried to put the shot up and draw contact. Couldn't do so. Hightower got the offensive rebound, put it back up, and was fouled by Tanisha Miller. And that's going to be her fourth foul. And so this will send Hightower to the charity stripe. She's got nine points, give her ten. So winning the second free throw here from Hightower. And misses that one. Offensive rebound just got big and got strong that time. Did number 24, then there's Miller with another rebound and she is quickly fouled. And I believe that's gonna be a foul on, on 23. If that's the case, it's gonna be Morgan Blaylock. And that's gonna be her fifth foul. Blaylock having to come out and commit the foul as she's trying to extend the game there. She committed three straight fouls to try to stop the clock. And this is gonna send Tanisha Miller to the free throw line. Miller with 14 points. I don't know if she might be getting closer to 20 rebounds in the game. She has just dominated the boards this afternoon. Her first free throw is up and good for Miller. She's got 15. Remind you to stay tuned. We'll have the Renaissance Bank postgame report coming your way. We'll name our Sonic star of the game. As the second free throw is good. and Looked like number 15, Ralston, kind of lost her balance and Miller caught an elbow that time, inadvertent elbow, nothing malicious as the rebound to Jenkins. And that's pretty much going to do it. We'll see if Gaston allows ICC to just kind of run this one out. And that's going to be the case here now with eight seconds. 82 to 68. Looks like this is going to be your final here as ICC picks up the win. 
And we'll move into our Renaissance, or let's see, well, let's take a break. And we'll come back with the Renaissance Bank postgame report right after this. ICC wins it 82 to 68. Back with more right after this. Ever since you got that license, you haven't stopped moving forward. Now that you're older and on the move, you need a safer place to keep your money. We get it. A student checking account frees you up with things like mobile check deposit to take care of that check from grandma without having to stop at a bank. Pay with your phone when you're out with friends. And stop worrying about ATM fees. We'll pay you back for those. Worry about your future, not your money. And know that we'll stick with you wherever you go. Renaissance Bank. Understanding you. Member FDIC. Hey guys, this is Madison. I'm a freshman at Itawamba Community College and I just wanted to remind you there's still time to register for classes and join me as part of the ICC family. Registration is open January 7th through the 15th for the upcoming spring semester. Visit apply.iccms.edu for more information or you can stop by one of our three locations in Fulton, Tupelo, and Belden. Itawamba Community College, the best start here. This broadcast of ICC Athletics is being brought to you by Renaissance Bank, Little Caesars, Davis Ford, the Sonic of Fulton, Tupelo Coca-Cola Bottling Works, the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, First American National Bank, the ICC BSU, your Itawama County Farm Bureau agent, Joey Cox, Cagle Eye Center, the ICC Foundation, the Bank of Oklahoma, and the ICC Alumni Association. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, here to the Renaissance Bank post-game report on Let's Go ICC TV.com and ESPN 95.1 The Fan. Renaissance Bank, understanding you, RenaissanceBank.com, member FDIC. They're an equal housing lender. Your ICC Lady Indians improved to 8-2 and two on the season after beating the Gadsden State Lady Cardinals 82-68 here at the Davis Event Center. Let's take a look at today's Sonic stats being brought to you by the Sonic of Fulton. ICC fans, don't forget to sign up for the Sonic special, special text message deals by texting YUMMY to 875-642. That's 875-642. Leading the way for Gadsden State this afternoon was Crawford with 13 points. You had Hines with five, Moore with four, 10 points for Hightower, eight points for Russell, Five points for Frazier, six points for Blaylock, two for Langham, and Payne had seven for Gadsden State. The Lady Cardinals fall to eight and seven on the year with the loss. For the Lady Indians, it was your Sonic star of the game. You know what? I'm going to give Tanisha Miller our Sonic star of the game as she easily had a double-double, recording 16 points. In the contest, you got to think more than that on the rebound. So Tanisha Miller is our Sonic star of the game. Other scores for ICC was Whitney Watkins with two, six points for Kaylin Wilson, nine points for Tabria Gandy, two points for Sarah Berryman, 23 points for Shania Buford. It was six points for Zaria Jenkins, eight points for Shamaya Williams, seven points for Keely Wilson, and one point for Darquasia McClatchy. Those stats brought to you by our friends at Sonic. Tell you what I had this afternoon for lunch was the cheese sticks and a cherry limeade. So that, uh, that has wore off a long time ago as that was a long game there. Be sure to visit letsgoicc.com for game recaps, complete stats along with links to photos and videos, video highlights and more. You can also keep up with everything ICC Athletics by following Let's Go ICC on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and you too. The Lady Indians will be back in action on Tuesday when they host Baton Rouge at 2 o'clock. If you can't join us here at the DEC, your second best option is tuning in right here on Let's Go ICC TV.com, the Red Channel. One final time here as ICC defeats Gadsden State 82 to 68 in the first game of the day. We're about 15 minutes away from the First American National Bank opening tip and the Davis Ford pregame show for the Indians and the Cardinals in the nightcap. But before we do that, we're going to step away and hear a few words from our sponsors and check in with Coach Rick Collier, Coach Andy Kirk, and Coach Matt Michael Metz 
as they talk about the upcoming baseball, softball, and tennis seasons here at ICC. Letty Indians win it 82-68. Back with more 